right by. It's your boy Death Hall. We here in episode 16. I want to talk on these cops. What's up with y'all? You can bleep that out. But what's up with y'all? I don't get y'all. That's my first time I ever doing my middle finger up, but I mean that. I mean that. What's up with y'all, man? Like, you talking to a person that grew up, you know, in POW, Police Athletic League. That's when I was an athlete. You feel me? Officer Henry, what's up? You know, I know you watch the show. But, um, and no disrespect when I say um, F cops, but I mean it. It's real. You a good cop. You was a person that, very inspiration. Very inspirational, you know, very. Um, my man Avery, you a cop. What's up? But all those other cops, y'all can, you know, because I feel like y'all hate us. I'm being real. If y'all, if y'all didn't come from where we came from, y'all hate us. And I'm really talking to the white cops. I'm not talking to the brothers because I'm not going to downplay anybody that's trying to, um, you know, provide for their family. Because I am human. I understand that. But for the people that's wrongfully, you know, executing, killing us in different ways, harassing us every day for how we look and shit, F y'all. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. This shit is getting out of hand, you know. It's to the point where I'm getting tired of saying how many times we got to see this. You know, I don't even want to say that, but uh, but it's a video that recently um that recently dropped, and it's this guy that was sleeping in his will. You feel me? He was sleeping in his will, and you see cops surrounding the car, like, hey, yo, you see that guy now? He he in there sleep. He in there sleep. They said in the third, it's a gun over there. But he ain't say it's a gun. He said, you see that? Guy had a flash like we couldn't see it, but you know. He had a flashlight going into the guy's car. And main man sleep, mind you. It's like cops on the other side and cops on one side. The next thing you know, you hear the cops saying, yo, I'm going to break this fucking window. And then you got another boy saying, I'm going to snatch him out or snatch it out. You know? And I'm just sitting here like, all right. My man Dre was talking to me about this last week, but I didn't see the video. I understood what he was saying, but I didn't see the video. So I seen it. When I seen it, that shit made me... Think of me, um, because y'all probably like it's not about you. It's not, but I'm about to share an experience that happened last week with me after I, I break this story down. But um, you know, I guess the guy was moving in the car, and next thing you know, they was like, "Yo, don't he's moving? He's moving? He's not up yet." They said something, and this open fire let the whole clip off. And you know the thing that really made me mad, honestly, besides the shooting, was the fact that these dickheads said, let me see, let me see your hands. The fuck do you mean let me see your hands, yo? That's the shit that be losing me, dog. And we supposed to be sitting here accepting this shit. Like, I don't know, that shit makes me mad. And and, and to get to the point, um, I said it reminds me of me. You know, last week, you know, um, I was chilling um, at an area a lot of people were chilling. Chill at, I was talking to my man, my homie, about this uh, prior to me recording this. And he was like, yo, Dev, I think you should share your experience. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. He said, just don't put the location on. So I'm not going to put that on. I'm not going to do that. But we were chilling at an area that a lot of people in the city chill at. You know, you from Philly, everyone know where the, where that area at. Everyone chills at this area. So, um, you know, people chilling. You know, we hot boxing. And, you know, after we was hot boxing, you know, I got in my wheel. And I'm relaxed. You know, after you hot box, you chill, you relax, you kick back. And um, I had the heat on. I'm chilling. I fell asleep. You know, I'm watching the Sixers game because I'm, you know, I, I play, you know, I bet. You know, I'm keeping up with my ticket. So I'm watching the Sixers game, making sure they covering the spread. I fell asleep. I got my car on, door locked, of course. Car on, heat on. I'm knocked out for two hours on some lacking shit. All right? I ain't wake. Let me tell you what I woke up to. I woke up to a similar situation. I woke up to cops surrounding my car. I ain't tell that many people that, but a lot of people know that. My man know that because I talked to him that next morning. 
I wake up, I'm knocked out. Somebody's banging on my window, boom, 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 boom. So you know, you, you know, I'm on, you know, I'm fried, you know what I mean? No. Right. I'm strapped. I'm gonna let y'all know that. I got a license, so I can tell y'all that. I don't give a damn. So that's why I said it can remind me of me. But um, I'm knocked out. And I hear niggas banging on a drum, boom, boom, boom. Bruh, I could have got shot. Let me tell you what my dumb behind did. When they, when I got up, right, you know, off a of reaction, mind you, we in the streets of Philly, so somebody banging on you, 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 you on your move, you feel me, you, yo, you feel me, bro? I got up, got up, got out my car, I got a tent, I got up, got out my car, like, yo, bro, these niggas could have said, boom, like, they could have opened fire, shot up, all this shit, this is real shit, you feel me, so that hit different, that hit different, bro. Man, man, they said he had a gun. You don't know what the fuck if he was licensed to carry or not, yo. And yeah, I keep my sh I keep my stuff on me everywhere I go. I ain't got it on me right now because I'm in a secure location, but I keep my stuff everywhere I go. It's to the point where it's like, you never know, dog. You feel me? Like, in the streets of Philly, people get killed in their cars. So I don't under I can understand if he did have a gun, why he had it on him, on his lap, or around him, in arm's reach. You don't know. We seen the boy Philando Castillo, Castillo, or what, I think I pronounced his last name right, get killed in front of his daughter and his girl was trying to show a cop that he has a license. This is real shit, yo. If you don't have a license, you can't relate. This is real. If you don't have, if you never, if you, if you, I ain't even gonna get into that. I'm not even gonna get into that. If y'all, if y'all have a gun and y'all using that to protect yourselves and you get harassed by the cops on the deli, y'all can understand that. I get harassed all the time by the cops. Hopefully I don't get harassed tonight. I get harassed all the time. To the point where anytime, I'm gonna tell y'all something, cause I'm gonna educate y'all something. Educate y'all real quick. Anytime you get stopped from a cop and you have a gun license, the first thing that uh, they normally ask you is uh, license registration, do you have any weapons and thing in the car? License registration, here you go, I have a, um, a gun and a gun permit. Cool. I'm going to tell you the procedure. What they do is they expect you to be dirty. How you look? You black. They take all day to run your car, run your license plate, whatever. They give you your gun back. It's not the way you gave it to them. Of course not. Everything is broken up. You feel me? Boom. Philly cops, y'all don't get a pass either. I just seen y'all break somebody damn. Y'all y'all broke a nice stick on somebody's head. I think I main man had a white shirt on. And I don't, I think that's chief. You feel me? So I don't know if that's no, I'm not not I'm not for certain on that. But I believe it was a Philadelphia district and a nice stick was broken on someone's head, yo. And it was posted on Instagram. And it was Philadelphia cops. The light blue, uh, it was Philadelphia cops. And I seen a white shirt and I seen the boy with your I don't know who it was. And I'm not sure if it was the, the main man, but I seen a white shirt. That's all I'm going to say. And this shit's getting out of hand. But I'm talking too much on these topics because I really want to get into the special guest. You know. What's up, everybody? So we back. We have a special guest. Man, man, man. When I say a special guest, we go way back, like four plants in the Cadillac, in the Cadillac. <laughs> and that's real rap. Ew. But listen, man, we got PJ. You know, I don't know if we want to put this government out there. Do we? No, you put my government out there. Yeah, my man Paul Johnson, you know, he, he definitely, you know, he yeah. runs by the name Paul Johnson. We getting older now, man. And, um, you know, I knew this guy since I was 13, 14 years old, man, representing the field, man. He representing five, six, man. And um, it's just like, it's crazy, you know, that we actually are on his show, my show. And he has a lot of shit going on for himself. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm yeah, good, that's man. good, dog. It's I'm good. Just, to... I'm just admiring the scenery and all that. I appreciate life. it, bro. It's, it's, yeah, we came a long way, man. Yeah. I wanna, uh, I wanna talk to you about life, man. Like, you know, we grew up together uh, in Winfield. You know, we here today in 2019, and I see that, you know, 
you making a lot of moves for yourself, dog. You know, you've been in Power Corps. You know, you've been in down City Hall with the mayor of Philadelphia, Mayor Nutter at the time. You know, you have an influence around the African American community. And on top of that, you switched over to the entrepreneur side of life as well. So yeah. we're going to take it a step by time, um, one step at a time. So we can go back to the Power Corp. Um, what made, motivated you to be a part of Power Corp? Yeah, no, it was it was crazy around that time, man. I, I got I got kicked out the crib. I moved in with my baby mom, mom mm -hmm. uh, in Trenton, Jersey's mm -hmm. weird people out Jersey. But I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I made do there. Got a little job there because I just had a game on for being locked up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then I was doing some other crazy stuff. Mom kicked me out, so had to make that move. I started working over there, a little temp agency. Came over here. McDonald's, that's mm -hmm. why I moved in my crib up north. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm at my probation office. My probation office, like, opportunity, work with the city, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? All this other stuff. I'm like, yeah, work with the city. That's what that sounds like money to me. No, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And at that time, I'm like, I'm done with the dumb shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm done with dumb shit. I'm going to try it this way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I signed up for Power Call, YVRP. They uh, set me up with an interview. They told me what it was about. I went there and I just kind of took it the same way I took everything, grind. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all I know I do is grind. So no matter where you put me at, I'm going to make it work. Right, right. Now, by you doing that, it looked like you was excelling in the program. Oh, yeah. Now, can you like take those steps? So by you making that transition from being a part of that program to you actually enjoying it, like were you enjoying it? Evidently you were because it seemed like you were excelling in the program. Yeah, no, I was enjoying it. You know, I like being around people. Right. You know, I'm cool with, you know what I mean, shaking and moving, mm -hmm. networking, whatever. I didn't know it was networking at the time, but right. I talked to people, you know what I'm saying? So when I got in there, they presented a lot of resources to me. Yeah. It was a lot of resources. They like, yeah, we work, I was working with the water department. Okay. Like, my crew was working with the water department and mm -hmm. the new thing that they was doing. Right. So it was like, I got to start fresh with it. So mm -hmm. I got to learn with the process, and I'm like, bet. All right, I'm going I'm to take it. I'm right. going to take this as far as I can go. I was bothering the dudes at the water department. Yo, mm -hmm. how you do this? How you do that? What's this information? What's that information? Where I go for this? Where I go for that? Right. You know what I'm saying? And they took a liking to me. I ended up meeting the manager of the uh, Stormwater Project, mm -hmm. and he introduced me to the commissioner of the water department, who, when we got in conversations, they was basically trying to figure out what I was going to do after Power Corps. So mm. I had that. So behind. opportunities were starting to open up. Yeah, no, man. Like, I had jobs before, but it's like you work your ass off, don't get nothing out of it. Okay. So, and I always work my ass off. Mm -hmm. So when I got into this and I'm working my ass off and benefits keep coming in, what that mean? I keep working my ass off. Right, let's, right. let's go. Let's <laughs> yeah. see how much I can get out of it. Right, right, right. Keep working my ass off. They start liking me. They start recommending me to jobs everywhere. So at the end of the day, when I was leaving out that thing, I had like three opportunities to choose from. Options. Options. Right. Yeah. That's, the, yeah. <laughs> That's what you're basically saying. Options, man. Options. Now, by you saying all that, like, let me ask you this now. For those that are interested, I mean, for those that are like, you know, had the same past, you know, being locked up, you know, coming back, changing in life as far as um, getting a temp agency, getting back on your feet. Now, I just want y'all to, you know, listen to what he did, you know, real quick before we get into, you know, his next stage. <clears throat> You know, he basically made the transition from realizing what wasn't worth whatever and applied it to better himself. You know, he took an opportunity um, to work with the city to basically expand himself in the um, organization on top of working with another department that's not a part of the organization. Right. You know, you feel me? So that right there is a change. And then on top of that, you know, he's coming from the streets of Philadelphia. He's basically been seeing a lot of different shit that hopefully y'all was being paying attention to. Now, we about to get into the next phase of you being introduced to the mayor of Philadelphia. Yeah, so, no, the mayor was like a big contributor to the program. Okay. So he was at all the events. He invited us to his events. So I got to meet with him a lot of times. So, and due to the fact that I was doing so good in the program, I was getting introduced, but to him by right. people that already knew him. Mm -hmm. And at this point, people introduced me. He like, I already, I already know. know him. Right, 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 you know right. What I'm saying? So I took a lot of selfies with him. Yeah, you know? yeah. Got to, you know what I mean? Got to <laughs> take the selfies, put it up there. But uh, yeah, no, that was, my relationship with the mayor was just really just, you know, meeting at those times. Mm -hmm. Because 
I got good personality. I'm, I'm guessing because people like talking to me. Or whatever. Right. He 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 talked to me a little bit. He talked to me, asked me how I'm doing, and everything like that. Every time I meet him and everything, how's how's the program going, stuff like that. You know, so. It's crazy, yo. Like I'm sorry, y'all. It's just crazy. Like I'm really having an interview with this boy. <laughs> now it just make me think. Like just hearing you talk on some. Now I'm proud of you, bro. Like on all, 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 all jokes aside, it's just like making me think. Like, damn. Like um, like niggas grew up because I ain't never think that you know I had a show you have been doing what you doing as far as making the change and shit like that for the for the for your, for the, mm, I can't even talk for the better change for the community getting other people involved like. Like this is someone I started rapping with. Real uh, rap. I'm being real, yo. You know, I was I, just listening to my bars coming up here. Not real rap though, man. Like, you know, that just made me reminisce real quick though. But uh, fast forward in life though, um, you know, by you being notarized, <clears throat> notarized, you getting some type of attention throughout the city of Philadelphia. You being in magazines. You know, you being on covers. You know, things in that sort. Like, how did that make you feel? And like, is that type of is that type of shit inspiring for you? Yeah, man, when it started happening, I just wanted to keep it going. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, I can do this. More people going to come. Because at the power car, I joined the the, contra- the main contractor for the water department. Mm-hmm. Um, so it wasn't the water department, it was the contractor. And I grew over there. I was getting promotions over there. And I got to get more in tune with what was going on around the city. It was like, because I was doing uh, pipeline inspections okay. for all the stormwater drains in the city. Okay. All of them. So it's like... Dudes from the block be like, man, I run the streets, all this other stuff. I'm pulling up, and if your car parked on my site, I'm getting it towed. Right, you run the streets. I run the streets. <laughs> you know what literally, you literally, literally. You know literally. what I'm saying? We, 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 I'm, 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 I'm sending proposals to the water department to get streets blocked off so we can do the work. Y'all don't get no streets blocked off. No, that's real. That's, that's, so that's real. Like, that's real. I mean, People tell I, y'all to move. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I come from that place, so I understand where y'all coming from, right. but now I'm here and it's like it's a whole different, different world. You know a different saying? perspective so. and everything. Uh, now, we're going to fast forward in life. Uh, you becoming an entrepreneur. Like what motivates you becoming an entrepreneur? Um, by you, you know, you, you have your hands on a lot of different things, um, but the answer to that, how, um, what motivates you to become an entrepreneur? I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it down. So, it's actually kind of like something, what inspired it is something that kind of was around my whole life, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Always tried to be, you know what I mean? Uh, what's it, what can I say? Always tried to be my brother's keeper, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Push my brothers forward, you know what I'm saying? Push us forward, everything like that. Mm-hmm. And then once I got into the power core thing, I was in a position where it was my job to help mentor young dudes and everything like that and, 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 and give them the right perspective. And, and dudes was listening to me. Just as much as me working was showing uh, benefits, right. me trying to help dudes, they was actually listening to me now. You mm-hmm. know, I got all my homies a little hard-headed. No, no, no. Hard. Right. But uh, they was listening to me. So I'm like, well, I, I, I stopped doing the music thing. You know, I stopped doing the music thing a while back, about four or five years back. And I'm like, now that I'm older, I know what I could have done as an artist. Mm-hmm. So that what got me into managing artists. You know what I'm saying? Basically seeing the old you in them. Or basically just showing them shit that you didn't know. I mean, right. show, showing them things that you didn't know that you know now that you can apply. Yeah, being that support system that I ain't really had. Yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? That was knowledgeable about where I'm going and everything. Okay. So managing artists need studio time. All right, mm-hmm. I am not no, no studio engineer. <laughs> I'm going to take you to my old studio engineer. Right, right. We're going to get it popping. Right. But I did used to dab when cameras back in the day. Okay. So I'm like, I'm gonna grab a camera and mm-hmm. I'm gonna start, you know, shooting music videos for my artists. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can further promote them. So that's when I got the camera and and I tried a couple music videos. I, mean, I pulled up to the crib and you was editing one. Uh huh. <laughs> and then I uh then I'm like, man, I'm starting. To, I'm, I start remember the headshot days, Meek Mills and N.H. and all of them. Right. And I'm like. The internet around now, mm-hmm. it was DVD. You had to go down 52nd and Market Fix. and hope that, that you got a DVD that worked. Right. You know what I'm saying? The, the play these Jones. Now the internet here, they just, wherever they had, go on their phone, see it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm mm-hmm. like, and I've been working with so many artists, either managing them or man, or, or meeting them through somebody I manage. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or when I used to rap, I knew mm-hmm. artists. You know what I'm saying? I know artists all around the city. So I'm like, I'm going I'm to pull up on these dudes and I'm going to... Uh, 
I'm gonna record them like they did back with headshots and all that. Right. So I'm like, all right, bet. And I started that up uh, January 25th. I dropped my first episode. And it's Thank God, you, thank God I Freestyle. Thank God I Freestyle. TGIF. It was supposed to drop on Fridays, but I'm like, that's too much TGIF for Fridays. Right. You know so, you know what I'm saying? I dropped it on uh, Saturday or Sunday. It's not really a set day. But uh, I'm actually editing episode six right now. So. Now, with that being said, um, you being a manager, you still manager. For yeah, different still. artists. Now, for those that are interested in looking for a manager, because there's a lot of people in Philly that rap, man. I'm pretty sure you know that. Um, there's a lot of people that Philly that rap that are looking for management. Is there any way people can contact you? Oh, uh, you can contact me on my Instagram, uh, the underscore bandit underscore four five six. Now, <clears throat> as far as the music videos and also you shooting, for those that are interested in being on camera, because when you know a lot of people, you know, you got Philly street rap. I don't know if you mm -hmm. see them. Um, you got myself. You got Philly Scoop Hall. You got a lot of different media outlets that's doing, you know, or posting rappers and shit like that. Now, what makes you different than other people and stuff like that? Cause I ain't, I'm, I'm, I ain't, I'm not really doing it for profit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, eventually I want to get there because my, my, my goal is to start an entertainment channel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm actually working on the comedy right now. Okay. So as soon as I'm done in comedy, that's going to drop out on my entertainment channel too. Uh -huh. So it's really an entertainment channel. Um, also, I'm trying to link with people. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, you know, it's for the culture. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want me to be the platform that helps everybody else get to where they want to go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So on top of my entertainment channel with the comedy and the TGIF that I do, mm -hmm. I also tell people that I run into when they have ideas for a sports podcast or this or that that need cameras, I say, I'll be a cameraman, I'll mm -hmm. put it on my channel. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, so more, so entertaining, I look at it like a media outlet in a sense. Entertaining, because mm -hmm. it's all, it's not just like, well, it is entertainment, but it's like multiple things that is circulating around, and it does, I guess that's under the umbrella entertainment, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess, but I would just say media because it's like, you know, you have different outlets, you have different plugs, you know, you're talking podcasts, you're talking rap, you're talking, I'm pretty sure it's gonna expand in the near future, you know, so I wish you the best of luck on that. Um, that right there reminds me of my episode, shout out to whoever that is, but that reminds me, of, <laughs> I know that threw me up, but that reminds me of like, um, the headshots, the got spittage, and shit like that. Remind me of when I started doing my job. I would pull up the different rappers, pull up in different hoods, because I wanted to show people I'm fearless. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. And I'm going to exploit people to the point where they don't have that platform to do it. I don't do that shit no more. I want to continue to do it because that's what the people want. But when I see other people like Fully Street Rap, when I see other people like yourself, I see other people that's doing it. I'm seeing it like, all right, well, y'all starting something different for your own selves. Mm -hmm. You know, that right there, you know, it's kind of like, I want to say, um, what you want to say, motivating or inspiring to see other people learn from someone. Like, when I learned from, the, what made me want to do that is headshots, to be honest with you. When I wanted to pull up the different people, I wanted to do it because I noticed it was dead in the city. A lot of people wasn't pulling up the people hoods. A lot of people wasn't you know, conversing with these people live and direct. Because a lot of people nowadays are just posting these rappers. Don't even know these motherfuckers. You mm -hmm. feel me? So when I see you doing it, I'm looking at it like, all right, you actually had these people coming to your car. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Now, do you have, do you know these people? Or like, you just like, it is what it is, fuck it. Uh, most of the people I know or know through somebody. Okay. But some people hit up my Instagram, yo, bro, I'm trying to get on there. Right. Or, or hit my phone, well, my phone number on my Instagram, hit me up, yo, bro, I'm trying to get on there, blah, 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 and I, where you at, what time, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I pull up on them. I mean, it ain't, I mean, it, Philly is crazy, man, but I done, I done been in the trenches, so it's like, when I pull up, I don't, it's not even a second thought. It's yeah. Like, this, this is what I, this, I mean, this is what I've been around. You this your city, that, that's how I yeah. feel, like, that's how I be feeling anytime, because people, you, you going by yourself? Man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't understand it, but um, are you charging for people to be on your, uh, on Thank God I uh, Rap? I mean, Thank God I Freestyle? No, so season one is totally, you know, the, the catalyst. Break it down. The jump off season to get it out. I mess with a lot of dudes that I've had history with as music, and mm -hmm. then I, I, I discovered some new hot talent, you know what I'm saying, through the process. But when season two come around, 
it will be a charge price for a slot on the episode. Thanks. As well as, you know, I play people's songs on the intro and the outro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I give them a shout out for their song. And uh, it's going to be a, a payer or invite. You know what I'm saying? Because hmm. definitely, you definitely going to, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I always search for time, so I'm definitely going to see somebody I want on the show. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, honestly, I wanted to say something too. To be honest with you, yo, um, I was supposed to be doing a rap segment, another rap segment soon. Supposed to be. A lot of people been hitting me up about it. You know what, yo? I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm about to say some real shit. Um, you know, but you about to start season two, right? Yeah, season two, episode eight is gonna be the last season I'm doing Cypher. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I got my artists up on my page. I got people voting for them. The five artists with the top, you know, views, Votes. likes, and comments uh -huh. are gonna be in the Cypher. Okay. So, I mean, I dropped the joint that I dropped episode one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That I was And that's it. Yeah, I see you spitting on recently. And it's like the it's like the second most joint on there. So, so they want you in the second. They want me in my own site. Nah, man. that's that's real. That's real. I don't know if I'm ready though. Yeah, that's real. I, honestly. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> no, you was giving up the bars, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. It make me just think like, I don't know, it make you just think like the boy Stiz. I'm not sure if you heard of him, the boy Real Stiz, the real Stiz. He, um, same, 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 same. um, I'm going to tell you who he is. He actually, uh, got the Battle Rap League, the Battle Academy yeah, in the city. Yeah, there you go. Both the dress. Yeah. Um, you know, he rap. He's a rap with Ape Gang mm -hmm. and shit. Now, it's like they want him to rap in his own Battle League. So it reminds me mm. of you doing Thank God Freestyle and they want you to be in your own joint. So you that's not bad. You mentioned Stiz, the, mm -hmm. uh... One of the girls I work with, cause I do I do uh, photography right. too, so I just did a photo shoot with Blue Magic. I'm about to do a photo shoot with Iconic, the okay. other brand that I be wearing, mm -hmm. and she invited me to a rap battle hosted by Stiz. So they hosted, and I'm pretty sure this is John. So she and that's it. That's an op opportunity. Yeah, she gonna introduce me to everybody. I actually just got a uh, Lady Caution, two one five. Name sounds on very familiar. Episode. Yeah, she in the battle rap scene. She a battle rapper. Okay. So I got her on episode. Five, yeah, I got, say five. Yeah, episode five, I got her on there. Okay. She like she wanted the top five as far as the views and everything like that too. So, yeah, I definitely heard his name a couple times. Yeah, most definitely. Well, um, for those that are actually you know trying to get in contact with you, you know, and reach him, we already know where to reach him at the the underscore bandit un <clears throat> the underscore bandit underscore four five six. You feel me? Yes, and um, you know he's about to start charging for season two. For, forget all that. You know, be about to, I want y'all to look at his actual edits when y'all get a chance. You know, cause um, you know a lot of people don't really be taking the time. Besides my man T, you know, behind the camera, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, a lot of people don't be taking the time to really, you know, perfect their craft. You feel me? Like I was just talking to him at the casino recently, and I was like, yo, I don't know if you know this, bro. Like your visuals, yo. Like, like it reminds you of a DVD intro. You feel me? Like, you know how, like, a DVD intro, you, and it remind me of a DVD intro, how they used to show a clip of something, and then next thing you know, they'll show you another clip of this, and they'll show you another clip. You know, you can actually almost, like, clip which one you want, in a sense, and shit. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I mean, I without it, I mean, I no, not in a sense. I like, get there one day, man. No, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Like, the yeah. way how you have all those different videos, and then you have one main one in the video. That joint mm -hmm. hot as shit. I don't... You know if you know what I'm talking about, but you did it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know exactly. What like, I, and I see the progression, man. And um, I just want to congratulate you on everything that you're doing. Um, is there anything that you would like the audience to know? Um, episode six coming out uh, this weekend coming up. TGIF. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Crime Scene Creations Four Five Six. Um, what you wearing, man? Talk. What you, what you wearing? Oh, this push. Pray until something happened, this little bro brand. Oh, I say, what you wearing? Him and my man Shy, free dough, <laughs> my man Shy, push, pray until something happened. I wish I wore a joint that wasn't really close to matching color, but y'all see it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I represent this brand, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Iconic Diamond, Blue Magic, you know what I'm saying? Other clothing brands that I've been working with, and uh, let's just keep working. So, I like to stay busy, man. So, 2019 gonna be a busy year for you. Oh, yeah. Is there anything um, outside of the rap industry, um, the comedy industry that you have intentions on working on? Uh, or is, we just have to wait and see? We're gonna have to wait and see, but I'm about, uh, the, the wheel's not going, the wheel's not stopping running no time soon, so 
they keep coming. I got this comedy coming out, almost finished with that. I'm about to start shooting for that. And then after that, who knows? Now, you know I, I know it's going to be some people like, that. he said he got a comedy. Like, why didn't you ask him this? So what is this comedy? <laughs> now, if you don't mind me asking you that, like, now in the comedy, is it going to be a stand-up? Is it going to be a skit? Is it going to be like, what is it? So it's, it's going to be, it's going to be skit-ish, but it's going to be more so like a sitcom. Just, you mm. know, and with half the time, you know. So it's going to be like serious. Like half an hour. Yeah, it's going to be a series. It's going to be just like TJ. It's going to be episode, episode, episode. Yeah. The main character is going to be played by me. Okay. And um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to nah, be amazing. And I, I ain't going to lie to you. I can see that shit being a hit. reason I say that, yo, because um, back in the day, you used to be posting stuff on the Grand Facebook or MySpace. It used to be something. And I used to be in college, and I used to see how y'all used to have the smack cam. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> That's facts, yo. So I already know, <laughs> I already know his mind going somewhere with this comedy joint. Like a smack cam used to be like, where people be knocked out. Maybe you can explain if you want to, but this is the old days though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know. This <laughs> no, <laughs> the old just a man, one of the, one of the smack DVDs was on New Year's. Yo, he was drunk, you know what I'm saying? They had to wake me up. They was trying, they was trying to get me. I got up, I woke up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then he was like, yo, I mean, boy upstairs, he's sleep on the bed and all that. So we went to the kitchen, grab some flour. Went up there, put it in her hands, and started smacking him with it. You yo, know what I'm saying? I mean, these smacks sound loud but via the, camera. The one that was funny was my man. He was he was he he popped like five or six zannies that day. Uh -huh. Bar Jones, and uh -huh. he was just knocked out. He had his like platter. He, he had his platter in his lap, open. He just he done done. So yeah, we hit him with the flower Jones. And he, did he wake up? Though? He ain't wake up. He ain't wake up. We we did it. Then chill for a little bit while he was sleep there. Then he woke up a little later. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we already know. We, that basically say, say no to drugs, yo. He yeah. just said, he did, he was out cold, like Stone Cold Steve. Oh, out man. cold, Phil he Cosby. Was, he was Phil Cosby, <laughs> man. But well, this is Dev Hall Show, episode 16, and one and only Paul Johnson, PJ, the Bandit, 456, whatever you want to call him, crime scene. You already know how this shit go, man. Look out for Thank God I Freestyle, episode 6, that's dropping. Subscribe to his channel, and you already know how this shit go. The Dev Hall Show. Thank <laughs> you.